All right, about to go for a ride in the robo taxi. Look at that, the new cyber taxi. A week after a video I made on the Tesla robot went viral, Tesla invited me to their Wii Robot event. Or maybe the robot invited me. I have absolutely no information on what this event is. All I know is Solomondron and Drag Times are gonna be there. And I just got this press car dropped off, a Carbon M4. We're going to be doing a full review on this thing. 735 horsepower. Wow, look at all the carbon in the engine bay. That is sick. The color combo on these buckets too, that is fantastic. I will say the induction noise sounds good on this thing. Ooh, look at this Maybach SUV. Those things depreciated so hard, you can get them for like half off now. Look at this, another M4 coming up. That thing slammed. That is honestly one thing I miss about not having an M car is that running into somebody else with a similar M car and having that unspoken bond. Like we both looked at each other and we're like, hell yeah. You don't really get that in the supercar community as much. Sometimes, but it's more rare. All right, just parked up. Let's see what this event is about. Alejandro Cybertruck chilling over there. How ridiculous is this? This is the biggest lineup of Cybertrucks I have ever seen in my entire life. It goes on forever. Look at that Cybertruck police car. All right, after an hour and a half long line, we finally have these neon lanyards. Time to go inside. Anybody like the band Pink Floyd? This is where they took the picture of their album cover, uh, Wish You Were Here. So they're hosting the event at Warner Brothers Studios. It's pretty cool. Look at that, whipping up some pizzas. Oh my God. <laughs> Over here, you can take a whack at the Cybertruck. That's hilarious. Look at that, the new Cyber Taxi. That is crazy. Here's another one coming through this intersection. All right, is that a stop sign? It's a pretty crazy setup they got going on here. A bunch of games, bars, look at all of the cyber taxis lining up to give people rides. Really cool to see that it has butterfly doors as well. Pretty cool to see that they're actually planning on making that robot. And apparently it's gonna cost somewhere between 28 and $30,000 but I was not expecting the cyber taxi, nor was I expecting the cyber van. We'll go over there, hopefully we can take a closer look, because that looks ridiculous. Although it does kind of look like the cyber taxis are just following the Model 3s in front of it. Look at this, a Tesla robot in the flesh. I don't know why I didn't realize that they could talk, but this guy's moving around like a legitimate human. Fist bumping, that's crazy. Do a backflip. <laughs> One day. <laughs> That's dangerous. That's funny. So this is absolutely crazy. This is the cyber van, and it looks like something out of iRobot. So if the cyber taxi isn't big enough because it only has room for two people, they've got this, the van. It's configurable in multiple different ways. You can fit tons of people in it, and it just looks unbelievably futuristic. Elon said in this presentation, he wants the future to look like the future. All right, we're gonna need to Bye, everyone. All right, off he goes. He's a little directionally challenged. Can we do a selfie as well? Peace, peace up. Looking good. What is happening? <laughs> what? So here it is, the new cyber cab. It's gonna be under $30,000 and you and I can actually buy one in the near future. Time to go for a ride. All right, about to go for a ride in the robo taxi. Thank you guys for sharing your ride. Oh, wow, this is cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. And then you're gonna hit start ride and you guys are on your way, enjoy your ride. Cool, here. thank you so much. That's wow, so cool. this is crazy. Oh, amazing. Full autonomous driving, no steering wheel, no pedals. Wow, pretty good pedestrian detection. These people just yeah, pulled yeah. out right in front of it. Look at that, two more cyber cabs. Play games. I gotta say, the seats are incredibly comfortable on this thing, super spacious in the cabin, and it seems to be reacting to everything very smoothly. Got a stop sign over there, making very smooth turns. That crash with somebody hitting a Cybertruck with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Driving through the Warner Brothers Studios. All right, there we go, hopping out. Thank you. That was a ride. All right, really cool ride in the Cyber Cab. That was awesome. Now, off camera, that was about a two hour long wait 
to do that minute and a half ride, but pretty cool to see the future of technology. They want to have like 20 million of those things by 2028. Apparently they're going to go into production by the end of 2026. So by next year, they're planning on rolling out full self-driving, like full autonomous driving to the Model 3 and Model Y so that when you're not driving the vehicle, it can actually go out and earn money using rideshare programs it's pretty cool. I really like the exterior color of it as well. Same with those massive wheels. All right, well, I don't know what's going on behind me, but Brooks, the Tesla king, and then we got Zach over here as well, the other Tesla king. Uh, how have you enjoyed the event? Uh, Tesla always goes big, right? Yeah, no, this is ridiculous. Crazy. Well, good to see you, Dad. In the middle. I, I'm excited about the robots because I don't really have a father figure since he moved to Miami, so I need, I need somebody close to me. You're doing good, son. You're doing good, son.